Good morning, y'all. Just got in the truck. I'm in my yard, riding down to my dad's house, which is down the same driveway. So that's why I'm not gonna put on my seatbelt. It'll all be okay. But I'm supposed to be helping dad build a skinning shed for like skinning our deer and hogs and all that stuff this morning. But I've been trying to get this, his YouTube channel stuff figured out where it's like verifying all this stuff. I don't know, I'm not good with technology. But as y'all know, we've got him a YouTube channel now. And I'm just been steady trying to figure it out. Cause I set mine up back in like 2000 something. It's been like three years and good gosh, he's already got a lot of it done. Unbelievable. And I started to call him this morning to see what he's doing. But I knew, or I was hoping he would have his phone set up out here and he'd be recording what he's doing for his YouTube channel. So to see more on his shed or this skinning shed rack thing, y'all have to go to his YouTube channel because I hadn't been here for all the building. And this is what he's already got done this morning. Oh yeah. He's got the tripod set up here. That works. Do I still need to get you a little thing for that or? Cause that's, that's what you're gonna buy. That's what I tried to order, but they had out of stock. Look at this. That is too cool. Slick in it. Yeah. I'm gonna put these in the in the concrete. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you. This is getting me centered up right here. I got that thing dead centered. But I gotta form it up and pour the concrete, so. Yeah. What I'll do, get it all you know, formed up, leveled up, and all that, and then I'll set it till, I'll set it like that. And I'll pour the concrete. See? Right there. Yeah. And it'll be three inches thick. So there's no way it's going to drag that bolt through the concrete. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then how are you gonna do it? Like the I'm gonna take a set of bass grips and I'm gonna you know they don't they got just a little bitty bite and I'm gonna weld some stuff on there that way they got a bigger bite. Yeah. And you'll skin him like you do, you know, you'll cut him around the hocks right there and then down through the middle. Yeah. And uh hook the just peel it back a little bit right there. Hook them vice grips yeah, to the it. Yeah, the vice grip. This won't be hooked to this. This is That's just, just to me. get it. Yeah. Center. Anyway. I could I could have the vice grips set right here, right there. You could just get one of those little, you know, those little eyes that you tighten up. Yeah. And just tack weld it to the vice grip itself. And then you just hook to that hawk as it, when the deer's down. Yeah. And then you hit the go button and it'll peel it like a banana. When you get to the tail, you stop. You make that cut, cut the tail. And then just keep peeling all the way to the, you know, till it gets to the back of its ears. That's awesome. And it's just going to be picking it up on that electric winch the whole time. Yeah. Well, that's... I mean, and you may have to stop if it starts peeling some meat or something. You may have to stop and make a cut or two, but that's it. You will not. It's going to be, it's going to be so much faster. Especially, oh, you know, when we're, when we're doing a lot of hogs that we caught or something. Yeah. You know, we can, we can get them, we can get them done and get them gone because we'll be, doing it right there and right here you know and you've had this you've had it recording all morning or not everything but you've got enough yeah, to make I it i mean i've done it you know it'd be fast motion time lapse yeah, but that's time good lapse on some of it and then uh you know i would stop and i would talk to it because you know yeah because i'm going yeah. but see so to see him building it go subscribe to his channel i'll put the link in the description no, no plans, just play it by ear, folks. Freestyling. Yeah. I got enough sacrete right there. I'm hoping we can mix it up and, uh, I thought I'd have enough tin, too, but I ain't got enough tin. So we gotta buy some tin? I gotta buy a couple pieces of tin, but I think when it's all said and done, maybe $500 in the whole setup. Yeah. Now, I did cut that up there, but you can buy the six by sixes and the yeah. two by sixes. Yeah, cut all that on the sawmill. 
and he only bought these four treated ones. And when you watch the video, you're gonna say, oh, he's using a lull. You ain't gonna have a lull. I'm just doing it by myself. So, you know, I'm using the lull, just make it a little easier. Yep. You don't have to have a lull. You don't have to have a sawmill. You can just go to a uh, But if you do have it, yeah, use, use it. it. <laughs> no doubt, use it. Cause it's, Joe makes it a little That easy. thing right there, I just left my door wide open, didn't it? But that thing right there has been the best that and the sawmill's been the, best, the two best uh, things so. he's ever bought. Saved his back. Yeah, well, it the has. Saved it. I've already tore it up, but it's it's helping it's helping it now for sure. Yeah. But those ten footers right there, those ten foot six for sixes, weigh twice what those. Because they were full of sap, wet, no. Yeah. What the and those are those are soaking wet, pressure yeah. treated. Pressure treated. It That's looks somebody. good though. Yeah. You have to have these that are in the and ground treated, of I course. On at, what, eight o'clock or something, and it's ten to twelve now. So I mean, it's not going to take it's not going to take much time. It's going to take you some time to mix that concrete though. Yeah. So I got here just in time to help you. Use that, you can go get a couple of sheets of ten because we need some eleven foot tens. Yeah. I got two sheets, and they both look like a rip because they've been under the ground and everything else. But hey, they'll serve the purpose. That's all I know. Yeah. I'm going to form this up, and uh, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way with a hoe. Mix that concrete, and we're going to start pouring it. I didn't want to get a whole, you know, a concrete truck down here for that. Yeah. And you could do this on a wood floor. Yeah. You know, pressure-treated wood floor. All you have to do is come in here and put the floor system right inside of this thing and just put the chains, just do the same thing. Just, you know, you could lag them to the... Uh, to the floor joists yeah. on both sides and it'd be the same thing. It'd still wash the blood right off. I just figured I'd do it with concrete and that way I could get as much headroom as I can because see when you get that when you get that all the way up there and it's too blocked mm -hmm. up against the winch, then you may have to disconnect the vice grip or regroup bring it back down. Yeah, and then hook it up further up on the right. animal. Yeah. Well, just tighten up on the hide and then yeah. go back up with it again. Just shoo, peel it all the way to the back of his ears. You know how hard it is when you get down here around the shoulders and everything? You yeah. That? Well, this is fixing to eliminate all that. This is going to be so fast. You know, we can clean a deer in eight minutes, have it boned out and in the cooler. It's hard to cut it in half. We're going to be spending most of our time boning out. And I'm so glad we got it for them pigs because I tell y'all what, a pig is so aggravating you to clean. You don't skin a pig. No. You cut every inch, and we're going to see if we can peel one. I think we can peel one. We're about to try, because with a pig, sometimes you got to, like, split him down the hide and everything, because that hide's so tight on them and so darn well, thick. They got a big old shield on their side, them boar hogs, and I reckon the sow hogs do, too, yeah. on some of them, because they, they fight, fold. and they got them, you know, they're used to fighting other hogs with cutters and all, so they got them big shields. Which also, you know, when you're shooting them with a bow, you got to be careful. Yeah. You got to hit it right. I wouldn't even, I don't know, some people do the expandable, but I just, I yeah. Know, I like it. Anyway, you got to peel every square inch of a hog. Yeah, because they're just them. tough. They're not fun to clean. Yeah. But I think this is going to be the ticket. Super cool right here. Plus, I can come out here. And hook the oh, uh, hook that zero turn line mower up. Hook it up to the front. Pick it up. Change the blade stands up under it, and change your blades on it, and don't never have to. You know, I've been doing it with that, but yeah, this right here will just be that much easier. Yeah, I'm see, have to put a little extension on my cord right here and get it out of the way and run it up there. Make it look some, all good and stuff. Yeah, I got some old lights right here. Got off the old uh, fishing rig, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna put two probably. I don't know, I could probably get away with one on both sides, but I thought about going all four sides, you know, pointing down at the panel yeah. that way, you, you know. This is our old skinning rack that's been here since, well, as far back as I can remember. Yeah, just got the little, man. isn't that a boat? Yeah, just a boat the winch. Boat yeah. winch, but word that, that I couldn't think of. It's held up. I don't know, I know we've had over 300 on it. Yeah, we've with that, yeah with that big hog you got. We've cleaned about all my deer on it. The first deer I killed when I was eight years old hung from this 
this is what I need. And this might work because the harder you, okay, we could take that right there. Yeah. And the harder you pull, the more it's going to clamp yeah, it shut. Yeah, and that right there would hold. That's what these are made for. Is yeah, yeah. Grabbing, hiding, pulling. Yeah, or if I had something like this welded to the vice grip, so then you just clink. Yeah. Anyway, this is what kind of this is what I'm going to do is something something to this effect. That way it don't slip. You know, it won't slip off the uh, slip off the hide. Yeah. It's cool. gonna work. I like it. It's gonna work. I, I guarantee like it. you, it's gonna work. If we don't, if we, even if we had to put a, a ball, you know, a marble or something in it, like you, you know, what I'm talking about tire mm -hmm. that tire would cinch up around. on that, and you could peel it. We're gonna come up with a plan. I promise you. Yep. It's gonna work. But that's what we got going. If you wanna see him building it. It's on his, or it's gonna be on his YouTube channel. Yeah, the next uh, day or so. Yeah. yeah. I started out this morning with the jacket on. Yeah, now it's hot. Yeah, and I, that's what I said. I said, I'll be chucking some threads here shortly. Now I'm in short britches and it's 80 degrees at lunchtime. Yeah, it's about right. Yeah. Now, 40, 40 degrees this morning. I've been working on your YouTube channel this morning. I need your phone so you can verify your channel. Okay. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate the support. Oh, yeah.